Well, I bet you wonder what cancer and social media have to do with each other. If it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't know what I know about my carcinoid cancer that I was diagnosed with in 2009. I am a survivor. This cancer is never curable, though. They did my surgery. They removed three-fourths of my stomach, two tumors like that, one on the inside, one on the outside, my right ovary, 19 lymph nodes. It had spread to my liver, did the surgery, sent me home, said, live your life. My treatment is not um, chemo. I take an injection every 21 days for the rest of my life. That's all I knew. So I thought, I'm already on Twitter. I might as well just put it out there. So I put carcinoid out there, and before you know it, I had people talking to me. There's more of me out there, because there was no support groups in Iowa. And so we started talking back and forth. And then one day, one says, are you on Facebook? Yes, I am. And she says, well, we, I want to invite you to a group that we have on there just for carcinoid cancer patients. We can talk about whatever we want. We can share our stories. Our families can hear our stories. Nobody understands this type of cancer. It is so different than any other out there. This group is private, so nobody else can see it. It's just us. But we share each day the things that we go through because we do live with symptoms every day. We do live with all kinds of emotions. But I can go home at the end of the day sitting at work feeling like I don't want to be there, but I can go home and turn on my computer and talk to that other person that might be going through the same thing that I am on that day or they've already been through it. And we help each other. We're support. We're all over. It's not just the United States. We're all over the world now. This is such a rare form of cancer. There's so little known about it. So we have a support group that has learned through experiences of their own how to handle this cancer. And we now have an Iowa group. There was nobody in Iowa. When I first found out, I thought I was the only person. And to come home and try to live my life normal, which I don't know what normal is anymore, I have now a support group in Iowa. We grow daily. We're finding more and more people daily. So I am setting up a Facebook meetup for all of us so we can get together and get to share our stories. And it just helps to know that I have somebody out there that can understand what I am going through. We share anything and everything because what we have is some symptoms that nobody else has ever had. This cancer is so different from any other. And I can come home if I'm having a really bad day, get the support I need, or I can help that other person. And one of the things when I had my surgery was, please let me be of service to somebody else. And this has. Last night I had a lady from California contact me. I had one the day before from Granger, Iowa contact me. We, I talk to people every day now. And I'm helping others, they're helping me, and we are there to support each other. And it's all through social media. We have become one now, whereas before I felt like I was the only one. We are all out there now. So that's my story. Thank you. Denise, what platforms do you use? What, online, what are you using to connect with people? Twitter. And Love Living Green is my, and Facebook. Okay. I have used Google Plus some too. Okay, and um, you have a private group on Facebook you belong to? I have three now. It's there's, three now. There's one that's for everybody um, called Carcinoid, Caf Car Carcinoid Coffee Cafe. We have another Iowa carcinoid group now, and then there's a national one. So how would somebody that's just been diagnosed with this find these groups? What would they do? The doctor in Iowa City, Iowa City did my surgery, has now been given um, business cards with our group on it. And they contact us now so that we can, uh, in, we can invite them into the group. So wait a minute, you have a doctor that put your group on his business cards? No, Let's we, hear it for Iowa City. We put, well, we put him on our group. You, our, yeah, and you put um, him on your yes. group too. Okay, well that's a big deal because you know we talk about working with um, already established organizations and groups and you know there's a lot of people that don't understand this social media thing so for the fact that you've been able to reach out that's great we're really happy about that some of these people have become my best friends too because we can 
relate to each other where nobody else can understand what we're going through in a day. So there's, there's no, um, you're not judged by the way you look? Not at all. We're from every walk of the earth. Yes. Well, thank you yeah. for your time today. That's really appreciated. Really. Thank you.